These are video game graphics from 20 years ago. These are video game graphics from today. This is a character NPC from 20 years ago. This is a character NPC from today. Making a good character AI might be one of the harder things to do in a video game. And I don't blame it. I mean, it's really hard to reproduce the natural behavior of a human. Or is it? Presenting ChatGPT, the new AI that can basically do anything a human does. So, in today's video, let's see if we can create the smartest NPC with ChatGPT and explore what the future of AI will look like. And it all starts with Fred. Fred doesn't know it yet, but he will be our test subject during this whole experimentation. Now, to make Fred, I tried using different software like Ready Player Me and Meta Avatar, but I ended up using Character Creator, and that allow me to create something super realistic. Except for the t-shirt, but sh it will be your little secret. Fred is not smart yet, but wait, he will be very soon, because I found this GitHub project that will allow us to use ChatGPT outside of their website, directly in our game. Now, at this point, we can already start chatting with Fred. It can answer some basic questions, but I want to be able to speak to him like I would in a real conversation. And after a lot of research, here is the plan in five steps. First, we are going to jump in VR to give the immersion like we are meeting someone real. Two, record what the player says. But now is the tricky part. We need to turn the voice of the player into text to be able to send it to ChatGPT. Once we get a response, the last step is to actually do the opposite and turn it back to speech. Hello, human. I'll destroy your world. Now, luckily for me, I had some experience using voice to text with my previous video about casting spells like in Harry Potter. Incendio. But for turning text to speech, I was lost. Okay, so this is Amazon Polly, a very cool text to speech system by Amazon, which works with multiple voice. I like potatoes. I like potatoes. I like potatoes. I like potatoes. And after some time, I found a way to use it directly in Unity, thanks to the awesome tutorial of this guy. So there is only one thing left test everything together. Hey, Fred, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How can I help you today? Oh my god, Fred is a ventriloquist. Only big problem I see so far is the response time, which feels a bit awkward. But I was able to reduce it quite a bit by choosing a faster version of the AI. Now, anyway, let's keep moving, cause this is where things get interesting. Now, at this point, I know what you think. Fred maybe looks a bit creepy, but I have something to fix it. Here, I have this slider that can open its mouth. So, to make Fred talk more realistically, the idea is to actually increase this value based on the loudness of his voice. I love pineapple on pizza. It's one of my favorite toppings. Okay, that's pretty terrible, so here is a better plan. We are going to create 15 different face animations. Now, those facial animations are called face semi and represent the face that we make when we talk. For example, here is the face semi for mmm, and here is the one for So, what's left is to use a program like Oculus Lip Sync, which will basically analyze any audio and say which VCME are needed to trigger at any point. In the end, I also made Fred always look at us using a little bit of inverse kinematic, which I hope will help make him feel a little bit more human. So, let's see if it works. His palms are sweaty, knees weak. Arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. <laughs> okay, so the lip sync definitely helped to make it feel more human, but he's still looking weird for some reason. Good news is that it's apparently perfectly normal. So if you ever felt weird out by a CG character, you're not the only one. This phenomenon is called the uncanny valley. Basically, the more we increase the resemblance to a human, the more the little imperfection will be catched by your eyes. Really shows how actually hard it is to recreate the perfect digital human. So, let's give this the good enough stickers and let's keep on going. Okay, so I present to you Fred Cousin, Captain Fred. As you can tell, Captain Fred is a pirate, cause now it is time to have some fun with what we made. What I did was write some more character information to send to ChatGPT. Okay, maybe I cheated a little bit, but the story is kind of cool if you want to pause the video. Hey man, can you tell me who you are? Ahoy, me name be Captain Fred, a pirate of the high seas. How can I help you, matey? Okay, I didn't expect the ChatGPT to also create a pirate pronunciation. Now, it seems that it has no problem to use a different personalities. 
But this is only the beginning. Now to show you what happened next, I need a 5 second montage. Welcome to the saloon guys. Now, I wish I was a good enough 3D artist to make a scene like this, but that's actually something that I found on the asset store. Not gonna lie, I had to do a lot of optimization to make this scene work. Maybe a bit too much. So, every character that you see here can be talked to with ChatGPT. They have their own personalities and backstories, so nothing new yet. But what I did was make them aware of the scene around them. They have not only a detailed description of the saloon, but of the other NPCs as well. Let's see. Hey, you must be Cowboy Fred, but can you tell me where we are? This place is a popular spot for cowboys like us to come and hang out. My name's Cowboy Fred, and I'm just here to enjoy the atmosphere and maybe show off a little fancy footwork if anyone's interested. Hey man, there is a girl over there. Who is she? Oh, you must be talking about Bonnie behind the counter. She's the barista here and everyone kind of fears her, but I think she's just got a tough exterior. I'm not going to lie, there are lots of weird things happening that I didn't show you. Like when Fred just confessed he's an AI. Oh my god, Fred is a robot! Now, the good news is that you can learn how to do this yourself. I will release an exclusive tutorial on my Patreon to show you how to recreate this ChatGPT NPC from scratch in Unity. So, if you'd like to support my work and get access to exclusive content, the link is in the description. For now, we can only make the character speak, but what if we train ChatGPT to also perform some tasks? Let's find out. Hey, Cowboy Fred, I heard that you are a pretty good dancer. Can you show me some move? Well, sure thing, partner. Let me show you some good old moves. <laughs> this was epic, and actually, it's not that complicated to do. The only thing that I did was to make ChatGPT answer a keyword like start dance and use it to trigger an animation. Now, it means that we can do the same thing to simply make the character look at another NPC, trigger some facial expression or even walk. And I mean, we are just scratching the surface at this point. We can already support hundreds of different languages straight out of the box. Bonjour, moi c'est Fred et j'adore les baguettes miam miam. It can keep memory of all the conversation that we have or even imagine what would happen if we made two NPC talk to each other. We could create an entire game filled with intelligent characters. Now, everyone has mixed feelings about AI. But one thing is sure, ChatGPT has a huge potential outside of its 2D shell. Will we see soon the first NPC using it in a real video game? Does this mean the end of humankind? I want to know what you guys think about it, so leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, if you want to learn how to do this yourself, I will make a Patreon exclusive tutorial, so link is in the description. Bye bye!